Hello, I'm going to talk about sex and astrology, even though YouTube won't let you talk about anything that fucking cool or inappropriate, which I'm going to just try to make it okay. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do that because, like, they won't let you talk about nothing. Anyways, yeah, I have, um, Don't Tell Mars the Babysitter's Dead, uh, uh, a whole bunch of videos of that trying to show you something appropriate with willpower because there's all kinds of things that Mars rules. Mars rules aggression, sexual aggression, willpower, how you get at mad and angry. Well, let's start with Mars and Aries. Mars and Aries, insects, you know, that they're good at quickies. The light is up, you know, like, and people think that that Mars and Aries is selfish. They also think the polarity, Mars and Libra, are kind of selfish. You wouldn't think that because they're thinking about the other person. And so is Aries. Aries is the hero. You can't have a hero and a leader without other people being led. But they lead themselves. So they're all by themselves. So when whatever they fucking do. Okay, so like during sex, like, right? They'll be pleasing all these people or whatever, like, trying to get, uh, be a hero and save their life by having sex with them or something, like, uh, yeah, well, like, they'll, they'll, um, get off and then, like, they'll see that the other person hasn't got off yet, but then again, did that other person help themselves try to get off? Did that did that person even try to help the per the Mars and Aries get off at all? Like, or were they were the selfish, disgusting pig, and the Mars and Aries might as well just enjoy themselves while they're with this person that makes them just feel all alone? Yeah, even though whatever. A Mars and Taurus are they lazy? Do they need a wheelchair to, for everything? Are they just really romantical in sex and more stimulative? Um, they're, or do they just sit there like a rock? I don't know. But a Mars and Gemini, they like talking when they're having sex. They do, which is weird. They like to argue and then have sex. They like to have angry sex, I guess, because it turns their Mars vibration on. Because when you get mad, Mars can boost up that, um... Horniness or bullshit or whatever. I don't know. I'm trying not to say bad words, but I can cuss or something because internet you're allowed to. Because Netflix, you sure as fuck are allowed to. I don't know. I'm gonna not cuss. I just said that word. Ugh. So many restrictions on YouTube. I hate it so much. Oh my god. I fucking love YouTube so much. Oh my god. Fuck. Okay. Mars and um, Cancer. Um, are you kidding me? There's like no sex life there. You're just like limp and. You're just wanting to cuddle, like, don't touch me, ew, as if, like, how, some people don't want to be smothered like that. When I'm Mars and Aries, they might smother you, and when they want to get mad at you, they might smother you with that, too. I don't know, but they're the first and everything, I don't know. <clears throat> In the winter, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, yeah, okay, but Mars and Cancer, they do, but they're the best cuddlers, I guess. But that's all they want to really do. They really want to waste some time, them, them time cuddling. Like a polarity, Mars and Capricorn, they take their time with everything. Going up that ladder or going up the mountain, they're going to enjoy their pleasurable state, their, their physical body. They're going to sit there like, oh my god, and I'd probably be impatient for a Mars and Aries. Or Mars and Aries would become impatient with that stupid bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. No offense, but in Mars and Capricorn, at least they, they're going to get things done in a more practical way or something. No ghetto, ghetto rigging way like a Mars and Sagittarius, even though Mars and Sagittarius doesn't seem like they have any willpower anyways. They're just like lucky with having it all just happen, I guess, or something. I don't know. I'm just so mean. I don't want to be mean in this video. Okay. Mars and... Leo, okay, it's just all about them, look at me, look at me, no fucking reason, all they want is someone else to give them, um, 
oral pleasure and that's all they ever want and then like they never touch the other person at all they just are all selfishly inconsiderately disgusting like a Sagittarius because Sagittarius is absolutely think that everyone is in their life only to revolve around them because they wish that they were a Leo and that's disgusting because everyone revolves around a Leo everyone's dramatic dumb life revolves around a Leo because Leo causes all this drama and they make you feel sorry but you're not the sorry one they're the ones that should be sorry like I said Sherris is always say that oops I'm sorry oops I'm sorry oops I'm sorry because it's their fault and they never learn and neither neither does Leo it's so fucking annoying I hate all these Stupid, mean things that I'm going to have to say about all of the signs because there is so many negative experiences that I've had with all the signs and there's so many negative things you hear about the signs, you know, so like, it's not all my fault, it's not all, you know, fuck, you know, it's not just my life, it's everybody else's life getting affected. Okay, Mars and Libra, they're just working on all their relationships, they can't just have a quickie like a Mars and Aries. Like, what the fuck? They're just really... It has to be beautiful. It has to be a relationship. It has to be, like, with morals or some shit. Like, I don't know. It really doesn't have to, but, like... They act like every one-night stand is some kind of fucking big deal. Like, it's not an occasion. Like, they do that. Like, okay. They're just, like... But that's fun because it makes it look all classy. They're classy sex artists. Woohoo. And Mars and Scorpio. Oh god, are you fucking kidding me, you jealous piece of shit? Please do not get in a relationship with anybody because that is disgusting. Why don't you just be the only one that has, like, flings and, um, one night stands? Because that's just stupid. They don't have a one night stand, the Mars and Scorpio. So they, they make you wait for, like, a year. And make sure that you're not having any sex with nobody just so they can have that moment of bullshit and it's supposed to be spiritual and stuff which they're just jealous hoarders just like a Mars and Sagittarius Mars and Sagittarius don't want to do it alone but they don't give a fuck or need anybody to do anything for them I'm like yeah why are you so nasally though because I am nasally I have allergies I'm a Pisces cusp Aquarius I'm a sensitive sign of all you know and the <sighs> whatever. Anyways, Mars and, um, Aquarius. Okay, anything goes. They don't, they're really friendly when they get mad, but they are very defensive. Whoop, you freaking do. Um, they, they'll have sex with animals or something, probably. They'll just have sex with everyone. Everyone goes. Anything ha can happen with the Mars and Air Aquarius. They, I don't know if they're the ones that have multiple orgasms, which, because they would go outside the coloring box and keep on going just to, because everything with them, because they're the robot, they're the alien, everything's a video game to them, nothing has a gender, they don't see gender, they don't see color, they don't see species, because they're the Aquarius, the alien bitch, right? And then, like, um, the friend of the world, come in peace, live long, and prosper, bullshit. Mars and Pisces, they like fantasy. That's all they really want to live in. So, like, if you provide them that fantasy um, in their head, imagination to keep on going and going, their orgasm will never stop in their spiritual fucked up world. And, you know, there's all the signs. They don't have to have sex with you. That's okay if you don't want to have sex. I can have my, I'm still in my fantasy world. I'm still having sex with you. <laughs> whether you like it or not I'm still in love with you whether you know even know about it or not just keep the Mars and Pisces in check are you still fantasizing about me are you still having a crush on me because I want to keep that at bay you know like whether so it'd be nicer for them to uh, just live in that world forever because that's what they're going to end up trying to go back to anyways um yeah, so I named all the signs. Thank you for listening, and I will do more on this without having to feel all stuffed and crammed because I'm afraid 
No, I'm not allowed to post this crap or whatever, but, um, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> it's still so, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, 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 always sorry, my ass.